What's up guys? In this video tutorial, I'll show you guys how to add the code behind the these buttons. So let's first get started uh, with the init button. So go ahead and double click on the button and that should generate the default uh, method for for this program. So the first thing we have to do is uh, when someone click on the init button, you must make sure that the ports are not already open, or else that would create a bunch of uh, errors messages. So we have to do a try and catch uh, method. So first, do this uh, try, and then go ahead and type out the catch. Do this. So for the catch, we're going to put un unauthorized access exception. And notice how it um, Visual Studio just pop up and show you the option. And then right on the first thing it shows is the unauthorized access, uh, access exception. Go ahead and press tab. And that should finish uh, autocomplete for you. And we're going to create a variable called x to store those exception in. So we can we need a message that dialog. So let's do this. Message type message box show. So this is a way to debug the uh, the program. And then uh, our variable and then the message. So the message will be stored inside the uh, x ex, and then we just use the, um, the the message, the property inside this variable, and display inside a message box. Now let's go back to the try uh, try part. So let me go ahead and comment this part. It's like we're trying to make sure underneath this try to uh, make sure ports aren't already open. Okay. So in, in this uh, in this in this part we have to do the if statement. If with if and then let's go ahead and do the brackets and then else here. I don't know about you guys, but I like to finish uh, with all the if else statement, just the uh, default stuff before I start writing code. There's the statement to it. So set status here, re text box equals to text equals to serial. Serial port read first and check the port name. And I'll show you guys why we're doing this after I finish typing this. Ready. Next one is the uh, read text box still. We're going to dedicate the read text box for debugging purposes. So when you next, we need to use the pen text. A method. So this is a method, so we have to use the parentheses. So inside parentheses, type serial port write. And then also port name. We can display the port names to the uh, text box. And then just say it's ready. Oops, I made an error here. Okay. So, yeah, uh, we need to uh, set our condition here, of course. If serial port uh, write is open. And this is how you check if a uh, port is open or not. That's the method is open. And the doc they, they have documentation online so you can actually go and check it out. 
So make sure it is not open. Serial port re next time. And then is open. Okay. So we got that thing going on. And then uh, the next part we need to uh, once we set the status, we need to go go ahead and uh, open the ports. So open up, open the ports. So how do you open the ports? You have to type out the name, serial. Well, can type serial, huh? Serial port re. Let's open that first. Uh, open tab. I like to use the tab option. Uh, so next part is support right, and then open that. That okay. So that should open the two ports up. And okay. The next part we need to do is um, lock up the enable button. So to prevent any additional error messages or any stupid action by the user, yeah, just prevent re initialization initiation prevent reinitiation okay open port enable equals to false whoa how come there's an error here does not exist in current context. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the uh, underneath, underneath the init button click. So it should be under the init init let's try this again. So init button enable disable it to false the Keep on forgetting. Okay, so that should work for that part. And next part is the else statement. Since uh, let's go ahead and it's good practice to do the brackets. Okay, and then uh, read text box text equals to port isn't open for whatever reason of course so the user will know and then we can debug it so let's go back and look over uh, these lines right here so we, we, we once we hit someone hit the init button the, um, the code start from here and I'll try to um, check see if the serial ports aren't open or not are open or not if it isn't open then try open it okay and then disable the init button so you cannot press the button again unclose, unless you close the ports so if that is not true if the port is open okay so you cannot open it so it's going to generate a different uh, uh, text port isn't open and then if that doesn't work uh, then there will be an error message also all right so let's uh, let's go ahead and check our uh, um, progress so far let me set this one to uh, uh, com 7 because I have my two UR on 7 and 20 so the right be on seven and the re will be on twenty. Okay, I can test this by using the debugging button. Okay. So let me show you why I mean. So press the init button. So say com port twenty ready and com port seven ready. Notice how I cannot click on the init again, right? So, so that works. So that prevent uh, reinitiation. So I'll close it. 
So this video is getting long, so I'll cut that off right here and continue later.